Hi there, Michelle with Dreaming English. And today, today, I am in one of the oldest cemeteries in my town. And I am here today to talk about the phrase as dead as a doornail. So here is a doornail. So you might, you might ask, what is the meaning of the phrase as dead as a doornail? Well, to be as dead as a doornail means to be utterly, utterly dead, devoid of life. For people like you and me, for animals like a pig, oink, oink, or a dog, roof, roof, it means to be finished with. For inanimate objects, things that do not walk and do not move, like the cell phone, it means to be unusable. For example, the cell phone is as dead, as dead as a doornail, as a doornail, and has been dead since I dropped it in the kitchen sink and it got all wet. Now, where does this phrase come from? It goes back to the 14th century and it was first seen in literature in 1350 in a poem, in a French poem that author William Langland had translated. And I'll read the Old English. For but it hath bought a me ball, I am dead a door now. Well, William Langland used this phrase again when he wrote another poem in 1362. In the Old English, let me read the Old English. For within thought is for him formerly not not, and dead at the door now. And in modern English, that would say, faith without works is feebler than nothing, and dead as a doornail. Now, this expression became very common in the 16th century when William Shakespeare used it in King Henry VI, and he wrote in 1562, look on me well. I have eat no, I have eat no meat these five days. Yet, come thou, come thou, five men, come thou. And if I do not leave you all as dead as a doornail, as dead as a doornail, I pray, God, I may never eat grass no more. There are several other dead as expressions. For instance, as dead as a dodo, which is a bird that no longer lives on this planet. And as dead as mutton, which is lamb chops, what people in England call lamb chops. Dodos and muttons are unquestionably dead. But why, but why, doornails are cited as a particular example isn't as obvious. So doornails are large, are large headed, this would be the head of the doornail, studs, and were used in earlier times to strengthen things, and more recently for, de for decorative purposes. Here in New England where I live, they were also used, and the more doornails that you had in your door meant the more money you had. So they were a sign of wealth. The practice was to hammer to hammer the nail through and bend the protruding part to secure it. And it's similar to riveting, and it was called clenching. And this might be the source of the deadness, because once you did that, once you hammered it, you couldn't take it out and reuse it again. It was dead. Now, Charles Dickens, one of the most celebrated authors, really liked this phrase, and he used it in the Christmas Carol, and I will read. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Mind, I don't mean to say that I know of my own knowledge what there is particularly dead about a doornail. I might have been inclined myself to regard a coffin nail as the deadest piece of iron Montgomery in the trade, but the wisdom of our ancestors is in the simile and my unhallowed hands and my unhallowed hands 
shall not disturb it, or the country is done for. You will therefore permit me to repeat emphatically that Marley was as dead as a doornail. Now this information comes from the website phrase.org phrase and you can go there and find lots of information about the origins of different phrases, sayings, and expressions. And the author goes on to say, Door, doornails have been the tops as, as been the tops or the most used phrase in as dead as since the 1300s. Now maybe with the 21st century, we should have a new phrase. For example, maybe with the ubiquity of so many digital downloads, of videos, of music, of books, we should have a new phrase, as dead as a DVD. If you could write, if you could type a couple examples of sentences with this phrase, as dead as a doornail, in the comments below, that would be awesome. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that way you know when we're posting another video and thanks for watching.